Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video and this is going to be a quick tour of the new updated version of Fjordor. Yes, you can see it in the background right here. It just dropped a few seconds ago. You can see we've got the level up and everything. We just spawned into the map. Everything is going just fine. We're going to go ahead and level that up a little bit. Um, but you can see here is the map. I'll go ahead and you know show you. Obviously stats are the same. The map is largely undiscovered. It is very similar to the appearance of the modded version of the map i'm going to show you some quick easy features in these first 10 minutes make sure you smash that like button leave a subscribe below obviously there's super thanks if you're feeling awesome and then we'll just do a quick 10 minute 15 minute kind of tour around the map and let's go ahead and get started all right so this is the lava island this is where you're going to find a bunch of valuable resources basically with this area right here you're going to see you've got the sulfur pits down there uh, you've got the wyvern scar in this area as well if you go to the back side i know i'm going pretty fast but that's kind of how this one works <clears throat> But uh, so basically right over here, you can see there's the fire wyvern scar. And in general, this is a very nice island because you're going to find all your generic kind of lava tames. If you go down into this zone down here, unless they got rid of it, this is where you're going to find some magma source. And as well as you're going to find all of your element down here. So we're going to go ahead and keep kind of like moving our way down this pathway. <clears throat> And it does look like they kept the magma source down in there and the element is here as well you can see there's the red gems for the element so that's kind of a pretty awesome little thing right there pretty easy to actually take advantage of i mean look at this that's pretty sweet i mean look i don't i just gotta take a screenshot of that sorry i know that's pretty i just think that's a beautiful area so that's where you're gonna find a lot of your basic stuff and uh not too shabby to get some of the easy like late game stuff there too because that's all good good tames obviously this is your fire wyvern scar right here and you can kind of move around this island there's actually a hidden artifact entrance over here oh they actually changed it is this where the entrance is now? Yeah, this is where it is now. Okay, so there's a hidden cave over here too. This is where you're gonna find one of your artifacts in the back side of this. Pretty cool. A lot of caves on this map all over the place. So many base locations. I'm kind of just gonna give you the quick rundown of what's going. Oh man, okay, hello, there we go. All right, so a lot of lag right now. You can see that there's still, still a little bit to optimizing to do to this map, but still pretty neat. And we're kind of going around right now and just doing all the basics. You can see there's a lot of beautiful structure all over this map. And uh, it's just, I don't know, it's just a neat area. Like, look at that. That's pretty cool, in my opinion. I don't know, I'm going to take some screenshots as we do this just because I like to keep them. So anyways, that's that's the Red Island for you. And it's pretty easy to get there, pretty easy to find. Lots of small islands like this. Great for PvE base locations and stuff like that. Um, pretty nice. I'll keep my map out so you can kind of see the actual, what's going on for the discovery prop, uh, like what's going on, actually. I should probably just grab a, a GPS as long as I'm at it for us. All right, so let's go ahead and pop that in slot one. Make it so it's not annoying. Let's do movement speed. There we go. All right, so you can see that we've got that out. And we've got the map out now, so there we go. Now, some of my favorite spots on this entire map is this little base location. Wow, they really beautified this. Holy smokes. They made some big changes to this map. Holy crap, okay, cool. This is a beautiful cave if they kept it. They did. Look at this. All right. So here's one of my favorite caves for a base location right over here. There's the coordinates for you just so you can kind of see it. This is where we kind of get into the Redwoods biome. You'll be able to find your May Wings in this zone. A lot of your basic Redwoods tames, the Thylacolios, whatever they're properly called, Diplodocus, all kinds of your neat stuff is going to be found over in this zone. Um, it's also got quite a bit of metal access. There's a few castles over here as well. Um, pretty cool little area. Uh, it's, I, I find it pretty neat, at least. And then it kind of rolls you into the snow biome, which is, again, still redwoods. So don't get a little confused on that. There's a bunch of mini caves over here, including a dung beetle cave hidden on the side of this mountain over here. And uh, that's kind of, you know, how you do that. So anyways, uh, you can see this is it's largely similar to, they kept it pretty similar to what the mod map was. There's nothing super added on, it looks like. Uh, there's a few caves that have been added in, which is pretty cool. Some, some sabers pretty pissed off at me right now. Anything special here? No, just kind of cool cave. Cool. Anyways, there's a lot of caves on this map, so it's going to be a really cool PvP and PvE map. This right here might be my favorite cave out of any cave in all of Ark. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. It's a beautiful cave. Yeah, I mean, look at this. Oh, man. I mean, you can't complain about something like this. It's just perfect. Flawless. Yeah, that's just cool. Now, anyways, you can go inside of this cave, and you'll find a beautiful area in here. 
Yep, pretty cool. And then off to the right hand side, there's like a little throne room if you want to think about it like that. You can hit these things and make some neat artifacts. And yeah, it's, I don't know, it's pretty cool. So that's one of those spots. And then you can go into the back side over here. And there's another beautiful base location if you have the resources to get back in here. Yep, pretty freaking cool. Now, yes, I don't know. This is probably one of my favorite base spots in all of Ark. You're going to have to defend it pretty well, but this is like the number one base spot. There's no way. Like, you can defend this entire cave. Isn't, I don't know. That's a cool. It's beautiful to me. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get up and moving so you guys can kind of see what else is on this map. All right, so you can see it right here. We've got this going on right now. We've got, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. So they, they kind of prettied that up. Nothing special. Um, right over here, we should have access to the spider cave. I remember it being right around here. Did they get rid of it? They may have gotten rid of it. Or is it further? Did they get rid of the cave? Oh, I think they may have. I think they very well may have. Wow, that sucks. They got rid of that. Oh, sad. Big sad. I really liked that. Oh, never mind. I think I got it. There it is. They kind of just changed the look of it a little bit. So this should be access to fighting the Spider Queen, unless they changed it. Yeah, World Boss Terminator. So you can literally face off with the World Boss right there, Bel Bela or whatever they're calling her now. Um, so pretty cool. So that's a mini, mini boss. So you just have to get Rune Stones in order to get those. And Rune Stones can be found pretty much anywhere on this map as long as you're in a cave. You just have to pick them up. It's pretty obvious, actually. So if you haven't seen it yet, these are pretty cool as well. These are the loot crates, if you want to think about them that way. They're just, I don't know, they're just normal loot crate spawn. Um, and then we'll kind of move on. And there are three world bosses all around the place. So you can kind of see that that's a pretty cool thing. We move back into the other snow biome over here. Go ahead and pull out the map so you can kind of see that zone right here. This is a huge map, by the way, with multiple floors and multiple realms. Let's see if I can actually get in the rune stones. Rune stone 1000. Aha! So that's the code for rune stones. Ooh, they changed the appearance of them. So these are pretty important, actually. Um, that's that's something that you should definitely keep an eye on because those are going to be able to do special things with, which is pretty nice, obviously. Um, you got a couple of caves in this general realm. Yeah, this is just a beautiful zone. So the, these castles all over the... Oh, they got rid of the castle. Aw. Big sad. <clears throat> wow, it's dark. Holy crap. So they got rid of some of the basic castles because I guess that would have been too powerful is what they're thinking for a PvP base. So that's that. This is Swamp Island over here. We're kind of moving to this area. So you can kind of see that Swamp Island. Uh, this has access to some really nice caves. And then underneath there is a artifact cave over on this side of the island over here. Um, this is where you're obviously going to find all your, your creatures for, well, swampiness. Yeah, that's kind of how it works. So anyways, next up over here, we're going to go ahead and move on to this zone. This is another beautiful zone. This is like the, I don't know how to properly say it. This is like its own private island. Um, it's huge. There's lots of beaver spawns over here, uh, which is very useful, obviously. Need beavers. And uh, yeah, it's just a massive island. It's a beautiful place to go to because there's all kinds of stuff around here. Um, there's tons of little caves all over this island. Obviously, it's a giant frozen wasteland, so it's a good PvP spot, especially if you have some make someone wear flak in order to get after you. There's also a bunch of, yep, right here, you can see it. Oh, oh, oh what is this? Fjordor rune. So that's what the runes look like, apparently. That's pretty cool. Didn't know that was a thing. That That is unique. That is new. I have not seen that yet. And then, obviously, you can see you've got right here, this is a teleporter terminal? Yep, so this is how you get to a boss fight. That's interesting. This is the dragon. Whoa, so you can have different bosses here. Nice. Okay, so they changed this a lot. Holy smokes. There are some big changes that I didn't know were happening here. Cool. What was that? Okay, never mind. So we got the rune stone. You can see that I've got a level up boost for it too. And that's pretty freaking cool. All right, so yeah. What's down here, huh? Nothing? This is just a cool little spot. I assume, yep, there's a rune stone. So that's pretty freaking cool. So this is how you find 
Yeah, that's pretty important. So finding these rune stones is going to be huge because you get to level up boost. You can see my 1,200 seconds over there. Pretty freaking big. And there's another one down there. So it looks like they're just all over the map in random locations. So that's something that's going to be huge. Um, we're kind of going around this island, and obviously I, I told you this is just a cool little island to go. I want to show you one of my favorite spots, and this is how you transfer to the other realms. Pretty important, obviously. Now, while we're going over there, if you want to check out, there's a link below. G Portal is my sponsor for servers. First off, I only go with someone that I actually trust to give me a server that's always going to be up and operational. Necatus, the guy that made this map, is actually with G Portal. So that's something that if, you know, if you think that's pretty neat, then make sure you uh, make sure you check that out below. Check the link out below. You get 10% off their servers, and that is something that I would really suggest you do because they have really well done stuff. You can see this. Now nah, we're gonna move on. Sorry, a little plug. Now, right over here, you can see this is the cave for the remembrance of all the people that have helped out Necatus. You can see this uh sponsoring all this kind of stuff here's some names of all the people um you can see their shrines i'm pretty sure there's one for syntax in here um but you can see Rumpe, Sintal, all kinds of stuff to that people that helped him out make this map pretty freaking cool if you ask me now we're gonna go and get out and i'm gonna show you the different biomes and zones real quick i'm not gonna go to all of them but i'm gonna show you the room to go to them so if you go to this spot on the map 40.157.8 you are going to be able to end up in a beautiful location. Now, let me turn down my mic just a little bit here. Now, basically what you're gonna be able to do is you're gonna be able to travel to three different biomes, one, two, and three. All you need to do is get your rune stones. Oop, there's my rune stone right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and go into my inventory. You can see I've got physical um, rune stones right here. And in order to transfer between the realms, you need to just generate this portal. So all you gotta do is click on it, and it'll teleport you across the map. Now, obviously, that's pretty unique. That is something that is unique to this map. It's similar to what they have over on, what's it called? Uh, Genesis. However, it's actually something that's kind of unique and fun. So this is that teleporter room. This is going to be somewhere the PvP players go to, like, prevent others from getting places, which sucks. But then again, you know, you kind of got to expect stuff like that. So you can go to any of these three and it'll teleport you to the underworld, which has the literally different maps on their own on this map in crazy, crazy, awesome locations. So you can see me right here. Obviously, I've spawned into a new realm entirely. Go ahead and show you. Yeah, I am underneath the map in a new biome. This is where you're going to find a whole bunch of stuff. This is like the aberrant zone. You can see that there are all kinds of rocks here. Now, these, unfortunately, I don't believe these give metal um, unless they've changed it. Let's go ahead and just check it out because they may have very well have changed it. I doubt they did, but, you know, it's possible. No, it still just gives. Oh, OK, there's a little bit of metal, but it's not like a metal rock like it was in aberration. But this is where you're going to find access to your wyverns, your, your poison wyverns. You can see my access right here to them. Um, you can find gotchas in this zone as well. So you don't just get gotchas unless they removed them. That would suck. I didn't think about that. But this is where you find a ton of awesome base locations. I mean, just look up. There are base locations all over over this freaking zone. Like, look at this. How are you gonna get to somebody that's in the upper corner up here? Now there's all kinds of awesome base locations here. Not only that, but you're on in a different realm. So if you were to protect the entrance of the realm, it would be very difficult to raid you because it can't get to you. Um, but you can also find another one of the world bosses over here. I believe that oh, there are gotchas here. Can confirm, gotchas spawn, nice. Yes, that is beautiful. Okay, so basically this is a true aberrant zone. You can see we've got all kinds of different looking rocks down here. Um, there's terror birds. Great. My least favorite creature, but you know, oh, well, could be worse. Um, and obviously, as you can see, there are three different zones. You can travel to each of them using those exact ways that I just showed you. And that is how you do it. Now, this is a really cool cave. This is light our glow pet cave. Yeah, this is where you can find a ton of glow pets. And here's your cords for it. Fun little thing. There's a runestone over there. Pretty neat. Anyways, this is a quick tour of the map. Hopefully this is something that helped you out. Make sure you smash that like button. Leave a comment below for the algorithm. And again, if you're feeling like this helps you out, maybe leave some super thanks every now and then. But it is up to you. Hopefully you enjoy Fjordor as much as I do, guys, because I am having a blast. All right, Teach, out.